Hi, it's great to be with you again. Do you know the game Follow My Leader? Well, you can't follow me, but you can follow my instructions. So march around the room. And if you're not up for marching around the room, maybe, have you seen somebody do some TikTok moves? Maybe you can practice one of the TikTok moves that you've seen recently. Okay, well done on the marching. So if you were marching now, maybe concentrate on trying to stand on one leg. Can you do that? And I'm going to carry on talking and see if you can still balance. And if you can't balance, try the other leg. So follow my lead is a game, isn't it? That we, we follow the instructions or follow the person in front of us. And today we're going to be learning about a leader in the Bible, someone called Gideon. But Gideon wasn't too keen on being a leader. And so we're going to watch the story or you could look it up in a Bible. It's in the book of Judges, chapter six, if you want to take a look at it for yourself. Oh, well done on the balancing. You can you can stop now. So let's find out about Gideon. One day, the angel of the Lord came to a man named Gideon, who was working hard on his family's farm. The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Go save God's people from their enemy. But Gideon hesitated. My family is the weakest in our tribe, and I am the weakest in our family. Gideon, the Lord will be with you. So, after talking some more with the angel, Gideon believed God and agreed to do what the angel had told him. Before long, Gideon had gathered up a great army. But when God saw it, he said, You have too many men. I don't want the Israelites to brag that they saved themselves. So God told Gideon to make an announcement. Any man who is afraid of the enemy may go home. And thousands of them did just that. But then God told Gideon he still had too many men. Take the men down to the water to drink. Keep only those men who use their hands to bring water to their mouths. Most of the men carelessly tossed their weapons on the ground and put their faces right into the water. Only 300 soldiers drank the way God wanted. So this was Gideon's army. Next, God gave Gideon very strange instructions. Each man is to take a trumpet, a jar, and a torch. Later, in the dark of night, Gideon's men surrounded the camp while the enemy was sleeping. When everyone was in position, they shouted, The sword of the Lord has Gideon! The sword of the Lord has Then they blew their trumpets and smashed their pots, so the fire from their torches circled the enemy. But each of Gideon's men stayed in their place. Down in the valley, the enemy soldiers woke up and were so scared that they began fighting one another. With great noise and confusion, the enemy soldiers all ran away. And that is how God used Gideon to save his people from their enemies. So I've got some questions about the story of Gideon. So do pause them so that you could chat with somebody you're with or just to have a think about it yourself. But what unexpected thing happened to Gideon uh, when he got his army together? What, what happened? Yeah, God told him to send big chunks of his army away. That must have felt really strange. So how did they win the battle? Yeah, it was down to God. Do you think Gideon found it easy to trust God? 
It was probably really hard, wasn't it? But do you think that Gideon was glad that he trusted God? Yeah, I think he was. And sometimes we can face really big things, can't we? Uh, that must have feel like Gideon felt facing that really big army. Sometimes maybe we've got uh, things at school that are bothering us or in our friendship group or maybe at home in our own families, just things aren't working very well. Well, we can be encouraged by the story of Gideon and we can ask God for help. But how do we do that? Well, a good thing to do is to pray. We can tell God how we're feeling and we can ask for his help. And so let's think about that whilst we worship God. We're gonna really focus on connecting with his heart whilst we either, we could listen to the music or we could dance around or sing along, but let's worship together. Change. 
I've got a really simple craft that we can do to remind us of the story of Gideon. So I've taken a verse from the story, and you could look this up yourself in a Bible. It's from Judges chapter 6, verse 14. So maybe you could pause the session, go and look that up yourself. And the words are, go in the strength you have. Am I not sending you? It's a great reminder that God is with us. And so I'm just going to roll this up now to make a trumpet. And it would have been helpful if I'd done my writing not quite so big. Um, and if you don't like writing, you could just decorate it. Um, decorate your cone with something. And then I'm just using a bit of sticky tape. Stick it together. And da da, I've made myself a trumpet. Da da. It's a great reminder of the story of how Gideon and the men blew the trumpets. But also, it's a great reminder that we can trust God, just like Gideon trusted God. Da -da. We're going to take a moment to think about the story of Gideon and what does it mean for our lives. Sometimes we might feel really small or the problem we're facing might feel really big. But we know we can take that to God. So I've got a, uh, a little battery powered tea light with me and uh, mine changes colour. But you could, if you've got one that's, that's great or if you're with a grown up, you might be able to use a, a candle, but only if you're with a, a grown up. But a candle can sometimes just help us focus really help us whilst we're connecting with God to pray. And so while we look at the candle, we can think about those situations, maybe where we do feel really small or where the problem feels really big. And we can share that with God. We can ask for God's help. And we can know that we can trust in God. Father God, thank you that we can trust in you with all the little things and all the big things that we face. Amen. So maybe take some time out this week to do something similar. But let's finish today with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. It's been great to be with you. Please do share some photos or give us some feedback on what you're feeling about these sessions. And every blessing to you and your family this week. Mm -hmm.